I think we're on the air. Hmm. So welcome to another edition of The Edge. Um, if you ever get a chance to come down to Public Access World, we get no cues to let us know we're on the air. So my name is John Polino. <laughs> Jonathan Polino. This I've been doing this show since 1998. Billy's been on the show for a long time. Yeah. Judy Valentin on my right has been on the show on and off for a long time. And this is our annual movie show. Yes. So we talk yes. about film. Um, this one we're kind of talking about comic book related movies. Other movies can also TV shows. Tele yes, television shows yes. will pop television. up. There is an agenda. I can show it to you. We're not winging it, you know. And, yeah. I am. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <laughs> My agenda is a blank. My agenda is a comic book. That's <laughs> right. That's right. We have a phone number. Uh, it's 860-613-3031. That's 860-613-3031. So give us a call. It's live TV, movie review show, and I'm going to read you the agenda right now, so if you're home, you can get your notes together, your thoughts together. Yes. This is like, you know, we're going to preview what we're going to be talking about. This is amazing, Billy. Sounds you know, good. All right. So, first thing we will be talking about tonight will be the show on Fox Television, the surprise hit of the season, Gotham. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll talk about it. The um, Billy says, awesome. The next show, WB show, or CW, right? CW. I just, CW. 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 Well, you know. C CW now yeah, CW, the yeah. CW Network has a show, third season, called Arrow, about Green Arrow, the DC Comics hero. F next show is Flash, which is kind of like a companion show to Arrow. Mm -hmm. First season, um, spinoff of Arrow. I was going to say Wally West. No, actually Barry Allen. It show, it's We see Barry Allen as a police scientist. He's the fa right, fastest well, man alive. Hold, wait, wait for the review. Wait for the review. Keep going here. Keep going. There's lots of shows. Just do the here. TV shows first, and then we'll go into the next one. <laughs> you, you I didn't say anything. Right how, how do you, how do you You're give it giving away? away a lot right now? You know, I'm very upset. Right you now. can't do it. No, can't do it. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> the next show is called Agents of Shield with Michael Chiklis as a detective. Oh, wrong Shield show. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's right. Actually, you know what? The Shield was supposed to be called Shield, and the people that produced the FX Shield mm -hmm. told them, "We're going to sue you." Right. And then rename it Marvel's Agents of Shield. Right. Mm. Which is ridiculous because Shield's off the air. Yeah. Uh, you know? Chicklist, come on. Michael Chicklist, he's, the, well, he's great, but he's not doing anything right now. Well, you no, know, he is. He's an American Horror Story. Okay. Yes. And he was doing a great job he's in a that show. He's a strong man. Oh my God, what a show that is. Um, Constantine, mm. which is also a DC Comics property. Yes. And he's British. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about more films now Captain America 2, Guardians of the Galaxy. X-Men, Days of Future Past, which brings Brian Singer back into the yep. X-Men universe. Interstellar. Maybe. Possibly. Gone Girl. Oh, and then we're, then the second half of the show, 8.30ish, is the uh, preview, speculation, argument, you know, what we think of this upcoming film. That's always fun. Star Wars Episode 7. Yes. Marvel Phase 3. DC movie lineup, because I know a lot about it. Yep. And then we're going to talk about the Marvel model. Versus a DC model, you know. So Who's doing it right, and right? Like, right. yeah, you know, like DC had Jason Momoa as Aquaman, but then they dropped him for Marco. Marco, our director, is yes. Aquaman. Uh, it's a very strange, it's a very strange casting choice. <laughs> All I can think about is this. <laughs> this is hey, what he did? He just took us off the air. All I, Every time. Time. All I can think about is the seahorse from um, <laughs> Super Friends. <laughs> you, know, you know what show I'm talking about? With uh, Fans, not Fans. What's no, his name? Uh, um, um, Oh, Big Bang, Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory. Theory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when he came out yeah, with yeah, the... Yeah, he was always like, I hate being here. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to be Aqua. I know, nobody wants to be Aqua. And Marco, Marco's power is he throws junior mints at people. It's very odd. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Marco, I'm kidding. Take it easy. All right. Come down in there. All right, give Let's us a call. Let's do it. Let's get it moving here. He, he's mad because topic Florida was raining. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> topic, topic number one, the phone number's on the board there. We're going to start with the Fox television show in its fifth or sixth episode. The show is called Gotham. It's obviously a prequel to the Batman lore. It deals with a young Bruce Wayne, Alfred, very young Alfred. The, there's the logo. Yeah. 
Good nice. job, Marco. Um, let me, I'll go first, go to Billy, go to Junie, and we can talk over each other. I was really, well, I wasn't looking forward to the show because I thought it would be hokey. You know, I thought every two seconds they'd try to stick in a Joker reference, Harley Quinn reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do it a little bit, but they do it in a way where it's not like in your face. Mm -hmm. And I, I think Alfred has, is becoming the breakout character. Yes. We're seeing Alfred yeah, like, I like him. because in the show, it's all in the shows, or the movies, I should say. In the comic books, it's mm -hmm. always speculated that Alfred had some type of paramilitary yes. past, or he mm -hmm. was work for Majesty's Secret Service, or something. Right, mm -hmm. right. And right. the show is starting a little bit to that. I like Ma it. Yeah, yeah, they're showing. You know, He's little. teaching self-defense um, and stuff. The mafia yeah. on the show is yes. deadly. It's oh, it's yes. the, the penguin. The character of the penguin is. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's so sick he's, he's and yes. twisted. But I love it. But go ahead, and I'll stop talking. Oh, I just I just. Now, see, I went into it with a much better feeling going into the show. I said, I'm, I'm curious. You know, prequels are always could be good or bad, like you said. Very good. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you something. I like James Gordon a lot. Yeah, he cool. just he came onto the force. Here's a guy who wants to be a straight, narrow, clean guy, right. and he's working on a police force that's far from that. Yes. And his partner was far from that. And it ties you into everything. And then you see the two rival gangs, mm -hmm. like right. the mafia. Which is in the comic book. And yeah. Which is also in the comic book. And also have the Russian mafia, which is also yeah. in the comic book. The but Falcones and the Falcones and Maronis. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. But it's just, it just a way to story. And you see characters come up. Like they just introduced Harvey Dent. Yep. Just yes. got introduced. Two and you can ago. see yeah. his... Sort of psychotic side, which is just really. You can see how maybe he might become edgy, or even with coming, the, right, right, even you know without. Gonna become, right? Even yes. without the scarring, he yes. has issues. Yes. Right, see, I like that. Yes. I like that. And yes. what about Cat? The underrated character yeah. is the young girl. Mm. And Michelle, they call her Cat. Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer clone. Well, which Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer, I think yes. she is Selena an interesting. Powell, yeah. Yes, and she's an interesting character. And Bruce Wayne too is. I mean, also. Yeah, yeah. He said all the time. I like him because he's a kid. He's just. You could tell he, he he was a rich upbringing. Well, yeah. He's really not. He doesn't fit the mold of anything that he's going to become, and he's just like he's trying to learn stuff, like the fighting, which I thought was awesome. He went to the kid's house and he showed his brutality well, on Alfred. Kid. Alfred told him, but right. Alfred. So, uh, but so now you go right, on to this. Okay, so let me. All right, so you guys, you guys said what you guys liked about. Okay, so when I went to this show, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, a, a Batman show without Batman. I mean, how are they going to pull this off, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact that Jim Gordon, his character, like if, if they're basing this show off of Gotham Central, which mm -hmm. is a comic comic yep. book series right. that focuses on just the police force. Yes. And if you ever read those, those I are those read. are well written, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's all about Jim. And that's kind of like what I see here, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. I love the police force. I love the Jim. I love Jim. I love the whole mafia thing and all that. One of my gripes about this show, and I, I don't want to get into the negative stuff already, but is Bruce Wayne. And here is why. Here you don't have to show me Bruce Wayne every single episode. No. Yeah. I get it. He's gonna become Batman. The way they started off the show yeah. with, with with Wayne's parents being killed you have to do was that. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like right. was a great scene. Yeah. And then they show me a little bit of Bruce Wayne here and there. You know, he's at the mansion. You or he's a kid. I know he's gonna become Batman. Fine. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna give me a Batman show without Batman, show me Bruce Wayne here and there, but you don't have to give me him you don't you don't have to give me Bruce Wayne every single episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, it's That's too much. Keep it more mysterious. I mean, yes. I mean, you know, sure, he's going to become who he is. You know, right, we all right. know that. But you don't have to give me him every single... So, you know, focus more on the police force. And they focus have good guys. They, that, have, you know. uh, they have Donald Loach. Is that his name? Donald Loach. Yeah, yeah. Harvey people. Bullock is amazing. Well, he, oh, yeah. You know, he steals the show, too. He steals the show. And the way they film the show, they use a filter, which is a 70s French Connection yes. type of Serpico. Yeah. It's so much of the leather jackets. Yeah. It's like Koj a Kojak episode. Well, and that's what it's supposed to be. 25, Dirt. 30 years yeah. ago. You can just see it. And it's just right. It God, reminds you can me of old-time film. You know, you know what? It's weird, too, because they this Gotham is not, like, set in a real, like, world setting right. in a it's way. It's not like, Tim Burton's Gotham. Because, like, they, you have, like, cell phones. Like, I don't know if you noticed this. Jim... Jim has a cell phone, right? right. It's, a, yeah. it's a flippy one, but it's a cell yeah, phone. Right, right. Yes. But then the cars are, like, kind of 80s style 70s, cars. 70s, yes, yes. So it's almost like an amalgamation of, like, you know... The two, two errors. Two different times. Time but I like that because I feel but that it's different, right? They, like when they when they when they set out to make it, they said we're going to go '70s style. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Bates Motel did that. Bates yes. Motel said, "Look, we're Norman Bates prequel, but but we're set in the 21st century, which yes. is bizarre because Psycho was in the '60s. Right? But it works for yeah, some weird reason. It works. Yeah. 
And, and I will say it is, without a doubt, it is my favorite new really? show. Really? New mm -hmm. show on TV. All right, so... So since you're saying that, let's can we give can we do a rating here? Like can yeah, we yeah. all give a rating before we move on to the right. next? So thing? one to ten, ten so being the highest. Ten being the highest. Um, yeah. I'll give it a strong eight. Really, I'm going to oh, give it okay. a seven with an asterisk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Why the? Why because the I'm asterisk? nervous. I'm a little nervous because I saw some things in a, in a few episodes. Where I don't want it to get too cute with the Batman mythology, right? And he's too young. I don't want. Yeah, to he see is too young. Well, well, that's, not, that's my own. That's, that's what I'm That's about. my only gripe is the whole Bruce. Yeah, stay with, how they're handling Bruce. Stay Wayne with right the now cops. Is my only gripe. Right. But stay I do with like. The, but yeah. I do like. Stay with the fish. Cat. Well, that's different. It's, it's being involved because again, they have known each other for many years in. Oh, oh, in the comics. Yeah, yeah the yeah, comics. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a love it, interest, it gives right. you a, a chance of seeing where that might develop to and seeing yeah, what's going to develop. And, and that's interesting. And I, I'll tell you, the writers for this show, I think, are doing a really good job. I've, it's not an easy show to write no, for. No, I could, it I isn't. It's it is very isn't. difficult. Uh, like I said, a Batman show without Batman. I'll give it a, I'll give it a strong, I'll give it a six and a half. Really? Okay. Close to seven. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I All right, I'll make it a seven. Seven with <laughs> an asterisk. So the seven, asterisk. seven, and eight. Yeah, so. Okay. It's good. That's fair. That's fair. But it's much better than I thought it would be. Yes, it I is. love the opening that the, the Gotham Logan. Oh, yes. you hear that oh, siren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. The city itself is oh, amazing. So amazing. It's amazing. The shot, the city shots are great. And you yes. believe yeah. that they're, they're, you believe yeah. those people are real. Like oh I God, do. yes. Oh yeah. Fish Mooney is a little over the top, but if oh, I, if Jada I, Pinkett is amazing. If I saw yeah. her, oh. I would avoid her. Oh, she's yeah. got, she's got that whole Eartha Kitt thing going yeah. on. Yes, she does. Eartha Kitt's a good, good side. Eartha Kitt's gonna kill people. No, but I'm just saying, she's got that like slyness. But you can see the nastiness. Yes. You can she's, really see. I mean, especially when Penguin comes in. And but the, he's he's and he's, he's, he's the best. Lecture on crack. I mean, he's he, the he's best. Like, the way he walks. And his mother. Yeah. Waka's wife from oh, um, Carol Kane. Carol Kane. Yeah, yeah Carol. Yes, yeah, she's right. awesome. All right. So we <laughs> we're killing all right. this. All right. But yeah. So we all gave our rating. Awesome. Yes. All right. Okay. Next show on the list, Marco, is a show on the CW called Arrow. There's yeah, a little, there yeah. it is. Nice. Arrow. Once Arrow. again, I was wrong again. Arrow is a character from DC Comics, and he's the Green Arrow. But then he also appeared in Smallville. So mm -hmm. when Smallville was canceled after the 10th season, mm -hmm. it was announced that the CW would be spinning off Arrow. So I said, oh, Justin Hartley's going to get his own show. Mm -hmm. The guy that played in the Smallville. Guy, the guy right, that actually, that's what I thought. Right, right makes yeah. sense. And then they announced it's a reboot. I'm kind of going, great, oh, there we go. We reboots, right. right. But then <laughs> they were right. Because what would Justin Hartley's no, different? No, you got it. You got to start fresh. Looking and back now, this yes. guy Stephen Arnett is is oh he's great he's raw he they they infuse the writers infuse mm -hmm. a lot of Batman mythology yes Ra's al Ghul Deathstroke the Terminator who's really a Teen Titans villain very dark yes right. it's you know. it's it's compelling to watch if you like to binge watch mm -hmm. I like to binge watch I like to watch three in yeah, a row yeah it's it's on Netflix right now yeah seasons you know um, have they made some mistakes with the show of course but it's it's something I look forward to you know so go ahead. I haven't. I have to be honest. I have not seen enough of it right. to give it a true rating. I don't because I don't want to go out there and be one of those people who says, "Well, I've seen a couple episodes yeah, and I yeah. think this is." You know, I'm going to actually catch up on Netflix. Is what I want to well, do. Should. I have yeah. got a chance to watch the first couple episodes I watched, and I liked it, but I was worried about CW's that's what, quality. <laughs> that's what it's he always, says. That's what It's said. always <laughs> my fear with CW, is that their quality mm. of show sometimes is a Hulk little bit you. above public access sometimes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, you know what, though? It's because they're trying to sell right. CDs oh, and course, downloads. Yeah. Right, they right. do that. That's cross-promotion. It is cross-promotion. Yeah. But I do think that the way they're going with this genre is the proper way to keep and hold audience members, especially young males who are between the ages of 18 and 25, yeah. which is where they're trying to sell to, yeah, yeah. and also get their young girlfriends to get involved right. because you, they need something to keep that audience because they're losing that audience. And if they can keep those core, they'll always be. Right. I mean, I, and which is smart, which is smart. You're, yeah. co you're correct because if you watch the CW shows, whether it's Gossip Girl or Flash, they always have a montage. Yes. They have the new, the new song from the new group yes. comes in. They show Barry or whoever, Oliver looking, and then the other one crying. It's like, yes. that's just part of it. That's so, what we call the CW yeah. effect. Right. Sons of Anarchy right. does it too, though. Right. Yeah. Sons of Anarchy yeah. does it too. They do it too. I love Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, but, okay. but I mean, no more montage. Is, I'm, I'm glad that, I'm glad 
and I'm going to get in trouble for anybody who says this. I'm glad that Sons of Anarchy, this is how it's going to finish. God is over with. You've got two Jesus more episodes Christ. left, that's it. But that's also a comic. Mm. See, uh, Sons of Anarchy, there's a comic with that. Too. I never know that. See, I, I knew know that. that. But they only did a few. They don't have, it, it, again, yeah. it's almost like uh, Frank Miller. Okay. With Sin City type yeah. thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. I know what you mean. With yeah. the more of a graphic novel type right, thing. This right, is right, what this right, is, right, too. Right. Okay. Yeah, so it is out there, but I just wanted to put it out there. I, I, I think this is a show that I definitely want to catch on binge watching. Yeah. When you get a you, show that you like, that's what you will like. You will like it. It's, here's, it's I mean, smart. Here's, here's the beauty of, of, of Arrow, watching it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you, obviously, you know, we, we I'm backpedaling a little bit here, but you'll see why. Um, Gotham, you know, is the Batman show without Batman. Right. Arrow gives you that Batman fix because he is like Batman, but yes. he's not Batman. Right. Okay. So if you watch Arrow, you'll get that kind of dark, you know, brooding Batman type character. And that's good. In yeah. Arrow, which is cool. Steve, mm -hmm. Ar Steve Arnett. Yes. He's awesome as Arrow. Um, but if you can get through the, the CW effect, which mm -hmm. is, you know, there's always a couple scenes Those and fake, then they go into yeah. like music stars and then they, then they got to have some kind of dialogue, you yeah. know, and it's and a then, reflection, a reflection. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that. <laughs> they do and then that. it gets back to, so it's back and forth. They do that. And they have the fake so, sets. But here's the beauty about watching it on Netflix is right. you can fast forward to those yeah. scenes. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, and that's get to the meat of the show. Of the you know show. I mean? right. okay. But CW, I'm happy with you. Where's my camera? CW, I'm happy with you because whoever works on Arrow, and I know you work on the flash as well. And you work on the new Supergirl show coming out. And I think it's Mark Guggenheim. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing back Brandon Roth. Thank you because he was a jo oh. he was a George Lazenby yes. of the Superman franchise. Thank you for hooking this, this yeah. poor guy. He's he, good he was too. amazing yeah. as Superman and the other film there, Superman what Returns. Yes, yeah. and Returns. He's the Adam. He's a hero again. Yes. Thank you for giving the guy a break. Good for you. He's a good actor. And, he, and here's what I'm gonna say. He got screwed. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest here. I mean, the guy he was. The problem was is his supporting actors and actresses were so? not great in that movie. I, I thought Bosworth stunk. Well, I, I yeah, well, she was horrible. She can't act. You know what though? He she's Twiggy without any skills. People, people, I know. <laughs> people said in all the message boards, mm -hmm. "I want the Richard Donner type of Superman back." Christopher Reeve. They did it. They gave yeah. the people what they want, and people didn't go. And they didn't go. They didn't go. I like Superman Returns. I, I did too. It was a good I did movie. too. I and thought he was excellent. And the kid was, was great. I felt glad. bad for him. Good twist. I, like you. I felt bad for him because his career sort of just nosedived after that. And yeah. it's good to see him back. Oh, I think gave him a break. That's good. I'm good. glad. All right, so getting back, I'm sorry. Getting back to Arrow, I'm trying to keep us on track. Yes. No on track. <laughs> um, getting back to Arrow, like, you know, a couple of gripes about the show. You know, like the whole CW effect, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, like, you know, there's something called suspension of disbelief. Yeah. You know, we talked about that. We talk about this during lunch a lot. And basically, you know, you're the Arrow. You've got your lair. And it's supposed to be a super secret thing, right? Mm -hmm. And somehow every single person on the show ends no, up in his, ends up ends up going in there. So these are the kind of things that like kind of you know you gotta yeah. kind of see past when you're watching mm -hmm. this show, sure. you know. Whereas the other companion show, The Flash, The Flash, which we can start talking yep. about if you want, is awesome. Well, well, I would like to hear the grades. That I, I, mine's incomplete. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The rating for, for Arrow. Yes, the Arrow. ratings. Hmm. You go for, oh, you want me to go? No, well, I'm incomplete. He can't, he can't uh, I would, okay, I'm going to say because Arrow has a, a meteor, <laughs> a meteor populace of episodes, seven and a half because okay. they, and if they bring in, when they bring in Ra's al Ghul, if they do it right, they're going to eight, okay. nine. Because that's, that's, and that's they brought in horizon. Deathstroke and they brought in Deathstroke and they oh. twisted it and turned it oh, and they made Arrow bleed and they bring in the Black Canary and it looks good. It's not cheesy. It's not like, all right, so here's here's my rating, Seven and, a half. Here's, here, and it's a crazy one, okay? And stay with me here. Season one, I'll give it a six. Season two gets like an eight and a half. Wow. Because it was awesome. Yeah. And now season three, the one that's out now, I'm I'm dropping it back down to like a seven. Because of the flip, you remember you said that guy flipped or something? Yeah. You weren't happy with that things, flip? They're doing things that they don't need to do on it. The you flip. Know? Like, all right, so Arrow has a sidekick now, Arsenal, mm -hmm. and there's a scene in the show where. Um, the girl there, his his uh, Thea, yeah, which is which is his girlfriend or whatever, is in trouble, and there's an archer that comes. He's standing in front. He's basically she's in trouble, 
He's standing next to her. All he has to do is stand in front of her to protect her. And instead, they have him flip over this car <laughs> and do this whole acrobatic move. It's unnecessary. Right, right, right. It's unnecessary. I think so, sometimes they, they they just do too much when that's what I mean. so simple. That's what I mean. Make keep it, it simple. Yes. Keep it. So that's why they're doing things. But that's for the that, younger you know, audience. Right, so no, went, it's not went, for So you went right. six, eight and a half, and seven. All right. Yeah. But, but that's a respectable. So you're about, you know, you're about a seven and a half average for That's respectable. Yeah, that's respectable. It's still a good show. Okay. It's just there are things that about it that you know. But that's you know that's what we're here for. We're here to right, poke right, fun right. of other people's creations. But um, <laughs> now the flash. The flash. The, the flash. Uh, this is there's a picture there and there's a picture of there's Grant Gustin right, so yeah. with the, he's a flash yes. with Green Arrow. And right. let me tell you, this kid was on Glee. I don't know who we played in Glee because I didn't really watch Glee. But don't let him kid you. Oh sorry. No, I did. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I watched every episode I have. I binge watched Glee. But I okay, I admit it. But you know what? I take. The Flash, mm -hmm. very seriously, mm -hmm. as a DC guy, and yeah. I was getting nervous. Your favorite, well, I'm favorite. always nervous yeah. with these properties because you should be. That's why when people go to conventions, they get pissed off if they do something wrong. They throw tomatoes at the creators. They kind of, yeah, right? they do. So when I saw the Flash, the promo, I said, mm -hmm. "Wow, the way they made him look, and they they're making him do things not other than just run." Right. Yes. He did a voice change, yes. which was so smart yeah. to fool the lady that he's known since he yeah. was four. And he even right. made his face like look yeah, blurry, that's too, because he can do that, right? Wow. He's got that super they're, speed, they're, you know? And they, and um, gotcha. that's the promo poster. And John Henry Ship, who we saw in Trumbull once, you and I saw him in Trumbull, mm -hmm. he played The Flash in the 1990, 1991 television show. I remember show. I love that stupid. Good show. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, the wait, old school Flash, right? The 1990, 1991 mm -hmm. show. Yep. The reason it got canceled because it was uh, opposite Bill Cosby. Yes. No jokes. But it was. <laughs> it was unfortunately <laughs> Cosby. It's not, it's not, let's not go there. Like let's go. not okay, go okay, there. Right, too soon. But it was uh, Mark That's Hamill. That's what he was doing with the pudding. <laughs> right. <laughs> the pudding pop. <laughs> you want the pudding pop? Well, there we go. <laughs> yep. The lawyers, Mark. Uh, Stop. Bill Cosby's lawyers are calling me. No, no. Right, no. He's got enough things to worry I about. Know. <laughs> no, no, no. No, so Mark Hamill, who uh, obviously played Luke Skywalker, yes. played the trickster. That's uh, right. Live action trickster. That's which right. obviously later he became the Joker on the right. animated show. Yeah. Always said, he said, if the ratings were higher the last two episodes, we were going to have a big villain team up of Captain Cold, played by David Cassidy, <sighs> the trickster, and the mirror master. And we were going we to have a two episode. You know, second season, and we we're gonna beat up the Flash, make it look like he's dead, and then they were gonna bring in a second speedster. Well, I don't know if it would be Jay Garrick or Wally West or something. He said they had plans for a second nice. season. I hate when I hear that. I, I, get, I get so mad. So you were saying all this because because now yeah, the new Flash. Flash right. What well, CW effect is there, but they're able to get around it. Oh, it be, works still here. Because yeah. the, the if you read the comic book and you enjoy, especially the Mark Wade or the Jeff Johns run of the comic book. You feel like you're actually watching an issue, the way they, and they've introduced new characters yes. like Doctor Wells, who is a yes. greasy son of a bitch. Oh God! Oh, he's, he's got, oh, yeah, he's he could, he could take show. his crisis on Infinite Earth behind and get out. But <laughs> seriously, he's the most evil man in TV because yep. you don't know it. Right? Yeah, he's, he's, got not a, he's, got a, he's got an ulterior motive. Right? That you don't know what's he comes in the on, wheelchair. You know? How are you, yeah, Barry? But he can really, but he can really walk. Yeah. it's good. It's it's you know. It's not him. I'm not spoiling because they show you that in the first episode. It's good characters. I mean, that's how you build characters and you give people the. And I'm going to tell you this. Get people to think. And I'm, this isn't a spoiler either, but I don't know if you know it, but it's it's been all over these these books. Mm -hmm. They're bringing in the cosmic treadmill, which is a, a treadmill that Barry uses to go to other Earths. Uh, oh, cool. He, okay. And in, in the real comic book, okay. Barry built Earth it himself. Right. You know what? I don't like that. But it, at least on the show, Barry surrounds himself with scientists. Yeah, Star, Star Labs. Labs. Makes yeah. it a little more sense. Right. And if you look at the first episode where... This Dr. Wells can he knows some of the future. Yeah. Guess yeah, what? Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Hmm. So the cosmic treadmill is a DC. That's awesome. Wally West used it. Jay Garrick used it. Even Superman used it a few times. So it's really. Yeah, because Superman I can did run. Not know you know? That. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so it's, it's a way to get to another Earth. It's a portal. Right, right. Okay. Like an alternate. Yeah. Alternate. alternate so dimension. that's that show is just getting me really excited. Yeah, that show that show's doing things the right way. I mean, Arrow, Gotham, those shows are dark, you know, gritty shows. Yeah. The Flash works, and the CW effect works for the Flash because it's a lighter show. Lighter show, yeah. It's right. a light. It's a fun show. It's fun. I love, I love it. You know, I can't you don't have to be dark it. all the time. It's nowhere, right. That, right. You know it's nowhere I mean? near as dark. I yeah. agree with that. And you know what I mean? They, they, make the, it's, they use the Hitchcock effect. You know something wrong is going to happen sometime. Yes. You don't know yes. when. You're like, you oh, my when. God. Yes. You're like, Iris's boyfriend is going to be reverse Flash, or mm -hmm. he's reverse Flash. He's a cousin mm -hmm. or somebody. You're mm -hmm. like... 
You know something's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's got the last name Thorne. And I don't even mind the villain of the week. You know, no, I always, I always, to... I always had an issue with the villain of the week right, thing right. formula. Yeah. But for the Flash, it works. It's a lighter right. show. Right. You know, Captain Cold. They brought but him those in. Are but it's a little bit of a twist. You know, mul multiplex, multiplex man. Yeah. The whole thing. I mean, it's it's that I... show is is being done really well. And he loses. He loses. He's kind of like Spider-Man. Oh, he gets beat up. I yeah, like yeah. It. He's yeah. the Peter Parker. You know, he's yeah. Peter Parker. He he's like Peter learning Peter on the yeah. fly. You know, he looks like not, Peter Parker. Actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like the character. It's awesome. It's, yeah. it's well done. John Wesley Ship, his character, who was original character, that whole storyline is, is excellent. It's reflecting another trial of the Flash storyline back mm -hmm. from the '80s. But I, I don't want to get too uh, geeky here. But you know what? They're they're doing oh, it the right geeky. way. Get geeky. I'm getting geeky. Get geeky. Get, Get geeky. geeky. It's a geeky show today. Bazinga. Okay. Bazinga. <laughs> so, on a scale of one to ten. I'm surprised you just say warm kitty. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a giant fan of the. Oh, the Big I love Bang. that show. I love it's Big Bang. It's, it's funny. It's I, a good I, show. Well, then fix the elevator. It's, a good, it, it's perfect for laugh. Yeah, fix the elevator. Um, I'm back two episodes behind, but right now, okay. it is an eight. Yeah. yeah, it is a really good show. It is my favorite CW show, which isn't hard to believe because <laughs> CW just. Oh. But th I know. this is very good. How about Glee? Like Glee. No, that's on Fox. Fox. And is this still on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's still. I don't even know. But it is a very good show. It has lots of potential. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm glad it's a little lighter. We need that. I think it needed yes. that. I think if you had just dark, no, it too, much be, dark. It it would be too much here, darkness. Right. You get brooding I mean, and he, stuff he, like he, that. Just a little bit of darkness. You know, he, his yeah. mom died. You know, he's trying yeah. to figure that out. Yeah. You know, like, the whole thing. The father's in jail. But the father, the whole father, the, the dynamic with the stepdad mm -hmm. even is That's great. Awesome, yeah. That actor, who's the actor? The Jesse Lee. Jesse Lee Martin. He's great. He's great. I mean, he's a great actor. You know. Yeah, very so, good. And, and it's and, and some well done. And, it, and the CW effect, like someone said, isn't bothering me in this one. Wow, it doesn't bother me. Small the first time. The CW effect? You know, I don't think it is much. No, 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 it's not as much. Small no. was a WB show. No, it was a WB That's show, why. which didn't have the it's CW changed. effect. Yeah. Because it, but it's an, impro it's you know, an improvement. It is the best show they have on YouTube. Yes. I'm going to tell you, I, The I Flash, agree. the I first agree. episode was to me was like Smallville. When Smallville first came on, yes. I'm a big Superman fan. I'm thinking, this is going to be stupid. But it blew me away yep. when I saw the rocket coming down and oh, the meteors. Yeah. And it was, Clark was so well, cool. The graphics in The Flash are, are yes. very well the done movie, for oh, TV. Yes. You know, how this they is, make them run around this and the movie, slow motion. It's movie-like. It is almost you know, well, yes, movie-like. That, yes. that works, you know, the way they do yep. it. You know, so yeah. it's good. So what's your rating on this? Nine. Flash. Nine. nine? Yeah. Wow. I, I agree, nine. 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 I, I, one of my favorite shows right now. And I think it's going to get better. I can see and next year saying a 10. And it well, just, that's good. It has that's a very good. comic booky feel to it. It's and, but that's good, though. I yes. want that's, that. Yeah, I, that's, that's what it's that's, for. But, that's it, good. but it takes itself seriously without taking itself right. super, super seriously. Right. 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 And that's the problem, I think, with Arrow is it's so serious. Well, it tries to be Batman. What well, tries to be Batman. And we, I, I wish it right. would just back off just a little. Right. Because from what I saw, it's just like, and well, I want to see more, but I... I well, you know what though, the Flash being being a, a spin off, kind of a spin off of the Arrow, and now mm. kind of taking the lead. Yeah. I think it's taking the lead from the Arrow. Oh yeah. I like I kind of like how they bring in, in the Flash, not in the Arrow per se, but in the Flash, the characters from Arrow. Yeah. Because they had yes. an episode with Felicity Smoke. Yeah. yeah. That was a oh, great yeah. episode. You that know what I mean? Awesome. So that it kind of really ties good. the whole thing together. I like that. And next week's know? a big team up. The two there's a two parter. Arrow, Flash, okay, Arrow, Flash. Okay, as long as you're not telling me anything. I, 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 I don't want to be told that. Spoilers. But I think, uh, I do think with the uh, advent of Ra's al Ghul, I mean, that's your villain. I mean, it's over. He's a great villain. I mean, And I think that'll cross over into Flash. Right. Oh, yes. I mean, oh, yes. That, that'll they, be great. And they say next year, this is just speculation, but they say the same people are doing Supergirl on CBS, and they already said it's in the same universe. They have... The ability oh, wow. to cross over. That's that, cool. That'll be cool. If it's the same writers, the same. That would be cool if you see like Barry, this this Flash coming into one yeah, of those. You know. DC's oh, yeah. proud of that. That would be that's good. Right. That would be good. That's, and that's how you expand your brand because if that's you right. think about it, expand you're your behind yes. Marvel. Marvel well, came out oh, and that's well, you know. part of the whole thing and then oh, we're gonna DC's get... got to catch <laughs> well, up. That's the last oh, part yeah. of the show. But, yeah. Yeah. but I just want to throw that out. No, it's true. Do we even have time to do this next one? Yeah. Well, I mean, we got, it's going to be... Yeah, but it's going to... Well, let's start break, rocking. Isn't let's, the break? Let's rock them out quick. Uh, next one is Agents, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, wow. This is actually one of the very first times in history that a big movie spins... A big movie, a big blockbuster, Avengers, spins off a show that that's relevant to the plot. Yes. We've always had yes. spin-offs of movies, but they were kind of like, you know, MASH and all yeah. that, Dirty yeah. Dancing. But they weren't the same. This is no. like... 
this has to do with the movie series Iron Man and all those movies. Yep. Yes, the yep. Marvel, the yes. Marvel, what they call the MCU, right? MCU, cinematic. right? Marvel Universe, Universe, Cinematic MCU, Universe. Yep, yep, right. yep, exactly. So, I'll, why don't you go first, and I'll tell you what I feel. Well, you know, I like that they're introducing smaller characters. I, I do like that. I don't want it to be just about. Iron Man. Right. Yeah. Those guys are and, out and there. Thor. Right. We already know other, they're right. there. We yeah. know they're there. Right. I like that they bring on different characters. Mm-hmm. Like, I know they're doing an offshoot of uh, eight episode of uh, Carter. Agent Carter. That's Agent good. Carter, but which looks really limited, good. which but I that's like. Also, I like that. yeah. And it's also back from the 40s and 50s. Right. Right. So that's going to be a nice yeah. prequel, and it's yeah. going to do to Captain America. And he may, from what I understand, he may be on there. Really? I wouldn't doubt it. So that would be that a would nice be. crossover. Well, I mean, hey, Agents of Shield had uh, Nick Fury on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Nick Fury, I mean, oh, I which was Nick amazing. I saw him. I'm like, wow. Yeah, man. I mean, Sam Jackson. I really enjoy the show. I, I think sometimes it gets lost, and, and but it's following along with what the movies are doing, mm, yes. you know, and it's trying to keep everything that, intertwined. That's the thing with the show, right? And, and that, that's the best part about it. I enjoy the characters. I think the show has potential to be better, which is scary because it's a good show now. It's yeah. it could it's it could be at times very good, right? But sometimes I just was like, wow, sort of let down. Mm. And but I still say to me, because I do enjoy it. It's another one of my shows I love watching every week. It's a seven and a half. It was last year an eight. Mm. Because I was really? so oh yeah I loved last year because okay. it was it brought in different and then this year I, I think it's split off too much and I, I just worry about it trying to do too much mm. as a series and mm. trying to do too much with the characters I think the characters are limited more than maybe I'm wrong on that but I would like to see it I don't know I like them doing work together I don't like them doing off on these little separate little things and a love triangle type thing and. They brought in what's her name? I can't think of her name. I know she, who you're talking about. The girl, the Adrian Palaki. Adrian Palaki. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't mind her coming in, but then there's a love triangle to it. It's just like, you know, please do me a favor. <laughs> if you're doing Marvel, I don't care about the love stories. I care about yeah. what the storyline's going to be for the next upcoming movies and stuff. If you want to do different things, fine, but let's keep it in, as you said, Marvel Universe. Let's not go into these other things. I don't want. Yeah, to see. I mean, it's a, it's supposed to be a companion show, right? So, it is. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, that's what that's what kind of limits it a little I, bit. I don't get yes, excited you know? when it's on. I mean, I'll watch it. I'll come and go through it. I'm kind of like, like with the Flash. I'm like, the Arrow. I'm yeah. like, yeah, my God, they're kind of the Adam. But yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even though I know Nick Fury might show up, yeah, and I yeah. know that I like, I love Phil Coulson. I think what a cool character. Oh, he's, he's and a I great, love, you know, I don't know how he lived and all this. But I'm like, I, I'm I'm waiting for that big. You're waiting for something big, I mean, right. and I love Joss Whedon. I know his brother does the show. Mm-hmm. I'm still like, and I love the, I love the whole. You know, these are the these are the secret agents of the Marvel universe. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just like I like the Bill Paxton episode. Oh, Bill Paxton. The, that was that was oh, one of the better man. episodes. But, right. That story, that arc was yeah. The, you know, but I just feel that I feel let down. It needs more. No, that's not. I, I think they're spreading themselves too thin. Right. Maybe a limited show would have been better, or a series of limited shows. Or 13 episodes yeah, for a season, many, and that's many. it. And that's, but many. I think they want to carry well, this on again to the next movie comes out. And they yeah, want to keep course. carrying it on, and that's but what it's that's, all about. That's, that's what I was saying. The show kind of limits itself because it's depending on it's depending on whatever the, the new movie is. Right. Right. So, like, Guardians of the Galaxy came out over the right. summer, <sighs> and which was great. We'll talk yes. about that. But, but... <laughs> Um, but the Marvel now um, has Coulson doing the whole uh, map thing, right? Yeah. right. The, Cree, the Cree blood, you know. The, right, right. That's so, tying right into the cosmic, right? Right, right. yeah. You know, so that's, that, I mean, that's, there are some in really a way, that kind of limits the show because, you know, yeah. you, you're kind of tied into what's going and on here. is sort you know? of disbanded, but it's not so, disbanded. Yeah. And it, well, it's because of the whole. Last right. year they did the whole uh, tie into Captain America too. Right. right. Yes. No, you know? no, I, I think you know? it's. A, Which was a great story arc, by yes. the way. I'm but, surprised you know. it's on the air because I'm surprised that people. Like it's watching a movie is easy to keep up with, you know. You see the right. next one, but right. the show you got to kind of have crib notes. Yes, I don't know. I mean, I, think, I hope it gets better. I, I think it's it could. I think it's deep at times. I think they should expand more. I would like to see them. You know who makes that show? Colson bring... makes the show. Oh, but... Colson's the best. Yeah, part. Colson's all. Mark Gregg is. I would like to see them bring in a different character or two. 
a lower a lower end the Marvel heart. character. I know You're they've right. talked about somebody's it. Coming just bring on somebody in. Just um, to well, you know what? They, they need to live they, it up. They got, they got. I'll tell you right now. They they brought in the girl. Uh, what's her name? Uh, she played Wonder Woman they, in the pilot. Yes, they never yes, did yes. Yeah, they never okay, did but right. she she's supposed to be Mockingbird. Mockingbird, right? Which is right. what you're talking about. It's, right. It's like a lesser known. But that's okay. Black Widow. I, I you know what I mean? Right. You know? Right. And that's what so. we want. I think people want to see more of that because the storylines get stale at times. And, and stale is a good word. And, and just and like I said, last year I liked it more. I thought it was an eight last year. Mm -hmm. I thought parts of this year. Now Bill Paxton, I love. Well, Bill Paxton is that was the best part. I mean, that was a nine. That that whole thing, he was awesome. He's, he's and now it's back down to around a seven, and it but sort of disappoints me that it's not higher. All right, let's What's go. What's your grade? Uh, like yeah. five. I don't know. I, grade? Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a six. Okay, next one. Okay. We got to move here. Constantine, and not much, not much to say for me about it. Got canceled mm -hmm. today. Or yesterday, 13 episodes. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying it doesn't mean it's a bad yeah, show. This will be a quick one. <laughs> so, Constantine, based on the DC Comics from Hellblazer Comics. He used to be in the Swamp Thing. He's British. He supernatural. They try to get Doctor Fate in there, the Spectre, yeah, all they, these. They pieces. tried to do the the, 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 the dark, the but, dark, the not dark like dark, but dark like yeah, horror genre. I, yes. I, yeah. To be honest with you, I only saw two episodes. And I, I love the comic book Constantine. I couldn't get into the video one or the movie with Keanu Reeves. I'm done. No, no, no great. I, I no give great. it. I, he's he's being kind. Um, I watched. <laughs> I watched five, six episodes of it. Really, wow, really. Wow, God, you got that what far. A, what huh? an idiot. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's six hours of my life. I will never get oh, back. My. And I'll give it a two. Wow. Because it was just. It was Horse like shit. why. <laughs> why? I mean, I stuck with it because I watched. Well, the show yeah, you I were hoping Grimm. it would get better. I right, watched yeah. Grimm and I figured I'd watch it too, and I figured Grimm, it'd right. get better and better. Mm. And it's just like, wow, it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. Mm. And then I'm looking and saying, yeah, it's going to get canceled, isn't it? And it did yeah, as soon as, I, as soon as I, I I saw one episode and I thought, wait a minute, is this guy supposed to be British? I didn't know I, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Well, that's, history the, that's of this. part you know of the mean? problem. That's not you know, what he's supposed to be. And it's just it like, doesn't seem right to me, but, I mean, whatever. I, that's I that's heard, true to the comic. I, I didn't know I that. I heard it wasn't you know? developed correctly, too, from the beginning. They just didn't know how to, like, it, they, they wanted to get Plus, the comic book bandwagon. Here's the death of that show, too. They put it on a Friday night. Okay. Which is a horrible Which night. is the worst night to have a TV show on. Right. Is this a Friday night tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, tonight's Tuesday night. Tonight's Tuesday. It's my show's on Friday night. Tuesday night's okay. That's okay. I'll drink water today. That's it. That's it. Uh, sorry. I, <laughs> you know, it's That's crazy. Horrible, but but so, yeah, so, so, I'll no, give it, <laughs> so I'll give it. So I'll give it like a, yeah, I'll give it like a three. All right, move wow, on. you gave it up. There. Let's go to the movies now. Yes. All right. Uh, well, hold on, Tom. Are we supposed to have some kind of break? Or no. What? Yeah, no, we're, we're just going to win yeah, it. Yeah, because keep we going? have to, because we're right. running out of time. Because we got right. Winter Soldier. All right. Okay. All right. Let me go first on this one. Okay. Ten. I'm serious. This thing, this movie, Captain America 2, I didn't like the first one. I admit it. I love Captain America. And I, I, I t didn't like the first one at all. I went into this movie thinking, you know, it'd be a little Real bit better. skeptical. Yeah. I thought it would be better than the first one. I couldn't. I wanted to see it again. The second the credits ended, oh, yeah. I was like, I thought Robert yeah, Redford yeah. returned to the screen in a big way. I thought Chris Evans deserves an Oscar. Chris well, Evans was awesome. The uh, Russo brothers hit a friggin' home run with yeah. this movie. Yeah. I thought it was 1975 watching a, you know, one of those, you know, one of those spy movies, you know, the Watergate movie. It was there was very gritty, very oh, gritty uh, thriller. The, yeah. I know you're talking about the uh, All the President's Man, All the President's Man, uh, yes. Three Days of the Condor, yes. all those 70s movies, the, the paranoia movies, yep. the guy that played the, the Falcon. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was you very know, good. Winter Soldier was amazing. Oh, oh it was God. it was to me the most <coughs> underappreciated movie of the year. They, because it's not gonna get any Oscar buzz. No, no. It's no, not gonna get any of that. No. But the movie was incredible. If you're a Marvel fan at all yeah. and you have not seen the movie, oh, you should be yeah. shot. No, it's in the on hum. DVD right now. It's on DVD. Ray, Watch it, it own it's it. Worth, it's worth it's owning. worth it. It's, it's a very great well movie. I think it's way better the best, than that. Best my feeling, I'm gonna throw this out there. My favorite Marvel yeah, movie of I, all time. It might be the best really? superhero movie up there. Wow. It might be better than Superman movies. That's, I think it's wow. better than Superman movies. And I love... Avengers is still For me to me, say man. it's better, it's yeah. up there with Superman the movie and Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, I'm saying right now. It's that good. Wow, you're a Superman guy too. Because wow. let me tell you something. Because this plot, when, when they're introducing... Hey, you're not wearing a shield for no reason. I know. Man. When they're I introducing... <laughs> They're introducing Hydra and, and Nazism oh. and MK oh, Ultra. Into, oh, Ultra. Holy! Oh man. yeah. I'm kind of like. And how Robert Redford was oh, amazing. I don't care. He was a great actor. I mean, he was he was he was Winter Soldier's handler. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, that was. I mean. And that I didn't whole see it coming. Scene, I didn't see it coming. I'm like, what? Did you see it coming? Like, I didn't see it. No. It's just, no. Oh my and, god. Uh, 
in that whole chase okay. scene when when he's in the elevator, oh. Chris Evans goes, "All right, guys, who's going to oh. be first?" Yeah. Oh yeah, the best yeah. fight. Pro- <laughs> Anybody want to get off before we start? You know? <laughs> Very I can tell you people. Yeah, the humor was was there, I but love it wasn't. That. You know, you like a little bit of the there. humor yeah. thrown in there, and it should be very good. Again. Best Scarlett Johansson best, too. Uh, Scarlett oh, Johansson was, was awesome. She was yeah. perfect. Even though she's a ditz and she's not too bright, but she's good to look she at. It. She, she was, it was a good movie. Yeah, it no, was, it was. She was. She, she the movie. Good, yeah. Was as close to perfect as you get. Uh, yeah. For any comic book movie, the Russo brothers it was right there. They did. They a great knew what job. they wanted to do. They, yep. they they even called it the Winter Soldier. So you already know. Yes. You already know Bucky is oh, going to yeah. be the Winter Soldier. Yeah. But you, you don't care. You're like, yeah. and when Bucky caught the shield, you're like, oh, I'm like. <laughs> goosebumps. And you know what's funny is that the whole movie, you know Bucky's the one that's soldier. Of course. But, uh, Steve. Uh, Steve doesn't know. Yeah. No, no. You know, so when he figures it out, it's like, yes. what? And he, you and know? He, yeah, yeah, and on the good. building at it's the good. end, he's like, it's good. <laughs> he's through the shield. He goes, all right, let's give it quick grades. Ten. Ten. Uh, I, I can't go that high. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll put 9.85. <laughs> How's that? I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a solid eight and a half. All right. That was an awesome movie, and I hope they do more like that. I think the Russo brothers are definitely. I, hey, I heard they're going to direct an episode of Shield. This, by the way, the show. The oh, Russo good. Brothers and oh, yeah. Joe that, Johnson, that would be who a good did the episode. first Captain America. Oh, but okay, cool. I know I'm talking fast, but moving on, I want to beat the clock. Guardians of the Galaxy, Billy Wilson, talk about nice. it. Nice. I'll tell you, I was. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know anything about I, it. I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> but the characters are interesting. Yeah. It makes you definitely Groot. want to see more. Groot oh is cool, God. but they're all cool. I know they just—it cool. just, it just yeah. to me, yeah. it's a series that's going to take off. I mean, it's made oh, lots yeah. of money. Yeah, very, very, and, very good. and internationally it didn't do great, but that's all right because it still made like seven hundred fifty, eight hundred million God dollars. Forbid. And it just to me, it's definitely going to be. It's going to be a franchise. I could see it coming. Oh, it is a franchise. It's, it's oh, going to be yeah. no. It's, it's, gonna, it's definitely. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 it's it's awesome. I mean, Marvel takes these little known characters, right? Oh, Nobody knew them before no. for anything, right? They no. put a they put a, 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 a talking tree and a raccoon in a yeah. movie. The raccoon was the and it was awesome. Bradley Cooper yeah. is awesome I mean, as a raccoon. Amazing. I mean, I wouldn't pay these. I mean, if, if, I, mean I mean, think about that. Think about what we're saying right now. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, go watch a movie with a talking tree and yeah, a that's raccoon. True, that's true. Yes. Tell that to any guy on the street. They're gonna look at wait, you wait, like, are you? If you tell crazy. that to Bob, he'd be going. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. But it works. <laughs> it works in this universe because oh, they God, took yes. it. They took it to a Star Wars level, I think. Yes. Howard the Duck. Uh, it's a cosmic feel yep. to it. Yeah. Okay. They took. They expanded on the whole Avengers thing and yep. brought it out to space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Which I yeah. love. With a team. Yeah. And then Chris Pratt as Star Lord is just. He's Pratt he's is Indiana awesome. Jones. He we, is. We, He's our Indiana Jones. Jones. This next Han generation. He's Indiana Jones and Han Solo in one yeah. guy. Yes. It's awesome. You know? And very and good. The music was amazing. Yeah. You know. Mix. I, sure. And I'm gonna the give it another, and I'm gonna you know. give it another high grade. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a nine. Well, I'm gonna give it I just to me it was so enjoyable. Yeah. That's a good one. It's that's another good movie yeah. I can another watch one, again. Is and again. it out on DVD right now? I, I it's coming out next week. It's coming out, right? I would I recommend go get it. Watch it. I know it's if you can watch it in Blu-ray, you know, watch it in Blu-ray. Yeah, it's very well done. I agree with you. The music alone, oh. I mean, was amazing. Oh, it's great. You know? The great music. If you like older music, yes. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. The, the Nova Corps. The Nova yes. Corps was in The Nova. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I did. I own 30,000 comic books, maybe more. And seriously, come to my house, count them. Yeah, he and does. I don't know anything about these guys. No. Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't, and all of a sudden, I watched the movie. Yeah. And it was like, like you said, it was a fun movie. I'm noticing... You know, John Marvel's, John, a, Marvel's geniuses for doing yeah, this. Yeah. I know. <gasps> John C. Riley is a Nova. Oh, war. he was awesome. Frank Lowe's is so in it. Yes. Yeah. The um, Howard the friggin' Duck is in it. Yes. Oh, you're spoiling it, but okay. Nobody watches <laughs> the show anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the Sputnik dog is in it. Yes. They got the head of Sputnik dog. That's right. They did. Toro. And they yes. tie in, yeah, they tie in the whole collector thing with yeah. the Thor movies. Yeah. You know, so you know it's kind of like the right. same universe. Oh, it's just so. But that's know. why it's good because it's. It's it a works. little. It's a part part of the Marvel universe that you probably would never hear about in a regular movie making time, like in the seventies, eighties. But they're like Marvel's like forget it. They're yeah. smart. You know what? They 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 took this property that nobody knew anything about, and they said, you know what? We're gonna make this movie, yeah. and and they hit it out the park. Like you and know, they made it with it's, people. It's Chris Pratt movie. was not a known. No, he's, he's a sitcom guy. He's a sitcom guy, and this guy is very just funny. Like, it is. Yeah, you know, it is. And uh, th- this guy, uh, who's the guy that Dave Batista? Dave yeah. Batista. He's oh, who stole the show he as Drax. Awesome. He was so funny. And where is he going to be on? He what? was hilarious. Dave Batista, his next movie, you'll never guess. What? He's going to be the next James Bond henchman. That makes because sense. Because of Guardians of the okay. Galaxy. Go, okay, like, good. And they're saying that it's not going to be like, oh, James Bond kills him at the end, the usual. He might be becoming an ongoing antagonist. Ah, sort of Bond. like Jaws was. Maybe. Yeah, that's right. Nice. So, oh, great. 
Great. Oh, great. Right, so uh, you gave it a nine. I right? give it a eight, nine. Eight. I'm, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a nine. It was just a, a fun movie. It's my it second. Was... My second favorite Marvel movie right now. My Behind. first. My first being Avengers. I cannot. I love Avengers. Avengers to me is the pinnacle. Well, because you, you tie you know? everything together. Yes. They, the way they did. And phase, I did love the Hulk. The way they did Phase One, where they had all every single movie and yep. they just brought them all in one movie. I that just that just blew my but mind. They're, they're brilliant. And they yeah. really are. All right, next movie. <laughs> next yeah, movie. Let's move on. No, not Star Wars. We need uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. There's no logo uh, for it. No I don't think there's X-Men there's Days a logo on the bottom, a green. But logo. I do want to talk about Star Wars. We're, we're so gonna that's get there. next. We're, yeah. we're gonna okay. That's gonna, we're, right. gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna jump to Star Wars. Yeah, we're gonna do X Men. X Men. Then we're gonna go to Star Wars. Yeah, we're gonna do X Men. Then Star Wars. Say about Star Wars. You know. Okay, X Men: Days of Future Past is the second film of the new X Men. That's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'll say. I watched the movie. I was impressed with it. I love that they, I don't want to give too much of it away, how they went into the future. Yeah. And then they, you know, came back. It's and it was how, how to change line. everything. Famous storyline. And it, it just, to me, it gave you a lot to think about with the storyline. Uh, brought the Wolverine back to a pl- position where I was much more happy with him. Yeah. And yeah. it also brings you back to where, and some things change, and it makes the future change. You, you yes, have to they, see it. They fix the problems. The wrong. Right. They fix the problems of X Men two of and three. Three, which they, three. especially three. Oh, three was horrible. In this movie, yes, they do. Well, you know, people well, it wasn't horrible, back. but it was just he like went yeah. back and fixed it. You know, yes. like and and at the end of this movie, you you le- you're left with like, wow, this really like is how it should be right now. Yes. You know? Yeah. And I would I would say. I don't want to give it too high of a grade, but I did like it. It was probably my favorite movie since the original X-Men. Yeah, it's a good um, I would say probably a solid eight. I'll give it an eight because I really did enjoy it. It was mm-hmm. a movie that I'd watch. I've seen three times now. So yeah, I, I think good. I enjoy it. It's a very good, I, it's a good movie. I, I, I'm up there with it because, I, first of all, I love time travel when they do it well. Yes, when they, they know, did when they it well. It. And I know for a fact that these people, Brian Singer included, they called up Cameron. They said, James Cameron. Yes. You did Terminator. We like your you know, your model of time travel, if yep. it were real. Can we copy it? What suggestion? Cameron wrote him like Talk a, to a, him, a yeah. 14 yep. page I read that article, yeah. treatment. Yep. Ba, 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 ba. And also, in the original uh, Days of Future Past, yep. Kitty Pride is the girl they have around the table with her brain. But they changed the Wolverine. Wolverine. Logan. Which it made I more like. sense. It does because, make more sense. Because mm-hmm. Logan has the claws. or Right. And he's, he, he doesn't die. You can't kill Logan. And, Magneto. Magneto. Well, they killed him in the comics right now. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, that's I know. But, yeah, well, <laughs> but Magneto, <laughs> the guy, Michael Fosenbaum, is that his name? Yes. Oh, my God. He's amazing. Oh, he's great. This he's, guy. He's, he, he, he's so evil. He is a nasty... But, but he's got a reason to be evil. Right, he right. A, he has a good reason. Survivor. Yes. Um, I like the little, I like, uh, the little guy uh, uh, that played uh, Trask. Oh, oh, oh! He's oh. in Game of Thrones. Uh, yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter, Peter, Peter um, yeah. yeah, I know you're talking he about. He's very he's good. Very good. Which is very he's, good. He's, he's an excellent actor. He he's really is. Very good Which actor. It's funny because you know? Trask was played by Bill Duke in X Men Three. That's right. Yep, Bill Duke, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold the guy that's in all the Arnold yes. Schwarzenegger movies. But yeah. So I gave Peter it an Dinklage. Eight. Peter Dinklage. Dinklage, yeah. right? And he's an excellent. So actor. he's great. Actor. I give it an eight as well because I thought I can't wait eight. I can't wait for the next nice. Apocalypse X Men. Oh yeah, I know. I can't wait. I love how they tease them at so the is, end. Is this three eights? Yeah, three eights. So oh, eights. we've all agreed. All right. All right. All yeah, agreed. we are on previews. We are done all with the right. movies. Okay. Well, if we got at the end, we'll talk Gone Girl, Interstellar, but not now. Previews. So, da, 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 Billy. Da, 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 da. There it is. We're talking about the next Star Wars movies. So Billy. <laughs> yes. Billy's oh. gonna go first. Yes. Billy. Billy always goes first. Yes, because it's. There you go first. Uh, no, I'll go first because I'll be quick. To my left. You know go more ahead. about it. All, than I, it. all I know is this. <laughs> I got a lot to say about here's, stuff. Here's I'm my sorry. thought. <laughs> I love that they're bringing back the old characters. Everybody is. I yes. love that. I mean, I think that just. And no it, more Jar Jar. It, it will give. Thank God. Biggest oh. mistake they ever made. George oh, yeah. Lucas, you moron. He's done. He's Jar Jar Bing. He's out. He's out. Thank God he's out. He's creative consultant. He's a consultant. That's what he should He's a single consultant. That's it. But I will tell you. The movie of 2015 will be Star Wars. Yes. There's no oh, ifs, ands, or buts. It's, it is. It's gonna be. I don't care what else comes out. This, this, is, this, this movie is not a movie. Be, this is an event. This is an event. And this movie, <laughs> this movie, if it's done the way as I think it should be, it will be done. This movie will break all records what? of all movies. I think even Avatar and it blew little creatures. I, I don't like you, Avatar. But anyways, I think you're I right, Billy. It. But I, I have to tell you, I disagree with you a little bit. Uh-huh. I think 
the people at the CW are going to do their effect on this movie, so they're going to have a lot of money. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> you had to go. She's going to go ruin it. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this movie, without even seeing it, I'm going to say it's going to be at least an eight. I well, think this. I, I want to give this a ten. Well, well, I want to give it a ten. Right, Lawrence solid ten, man. Cassidy I wanted to be a ten. The movie. I wanted to be look, a perfect movie. They, they do not. They saw what happened with the prequels with Star Wars, right? Oh, they know. So they, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy, who are running it with Disney right now, yeah. right? They're taking the Marvel model approach to it. Okay, number one, that's mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Then they are not messing around. They're saying, okay, we're going to bring back the original three, which makes so much okay. sense. Okay, yeah. all right. We're going to we're going to pass the torch on to a new right. generation, right. which makes sense. Right. Okay, and at the same time, um, they brought in uh, the old uh, Lawrence Kasdan, right? Yes. Okay. They had Michael Arndt on the script, right? right? But, they, they, but they, they didn't like that where that was going, it, yeah. so they they got rid of him and they got they brought in the original Lawrence Empire Kasdan Strikes Back or, guy, Empire, yes, who, and Raiders of the Lost Ark, who, who was awesome, hands down, was the best Star Wars movie ever, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. According to a lot of people, I'm not yep. wrong in this nope. by saying this. So, nope. so I mean, these guys they're taking it very seriously. Mm-hmm. They're they're lessening the CG. Right? Thank God. They're doing some CG. Obviously, they got yeah, You got to have some you know, CG. Right. But they're bringing back puppets. Yes. I mean, they're bringing back, they're doing things like um, tactile. Old they're school. doing things, Old you know, with sets. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're taking this thing. That's how they should have done, you know. They should have done the last three. And you wouldn't have had his, I mean, no Jar Jar Binks. Well, if you would have done it that way, you would yeah, have gotten you know what, much. Billy, you're right. I agree with you, but this it always goes back to the story. And the story, right. I wasn't invested in the first one. I was like, oh, okay, it's a kid. He built a pot, all right? Built a part of the yeah. scene. He was a horrible which, which is, here, Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem with the prequels. He was horrible. Here's, here's where the prequels had a problem, is that you all know, watching episode one, when you first see yeah. that little kid. Right, okay, you know who he's going to be. You know he's going to be some, someday like he is going to become. It's like Gotham. You yes, know. you know he's going to become Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It, 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 so you no matter what happens, you know the Except outcome. Except for that yes. third one. Now, remember when you were a kid and you first saw, and yeah. I wasn't, I, I, that's, I was too young for this. My first Star Wars experience was Return of the Jedi. You guys probably saw the original, I right? Saw, yep. Okay. When you first walked into Star Wars the, the, for, for the first time, mm-hmm. okay, didn't you, you didn't know anything was going to happen. No. You didn't know what you were getting. No. Right? No. It was no like, clue. it was like a whole experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what they're doing again now. You have no idea where right, it's right, going. Right, right. No, and I like that. None. I like because that. Because it's... There's mystery there again. Yeah, that's... But I, I still think had he hired better writers for the prequel... It would have been be, better. It would have had a better well, product. Yeah. Yeah. Not, you know what I mean? But you're right. <clears throat> Lawrence Kasdan coming back. You're right there. That's an ace in the hole. Yeah. That's like bringing back a healthy Derek Jeter. If you yes. Do. But Derek, yes. this isn't an that's, athlete. That's it's a writer, 15 years you know younger. Right. All right. <laughs> Any more speculation, Star Wars? Yes, I I have more. I'm sorry. I know you. Go ahead. To, I have no, more. I'm just trying to get All everything right. in. Here's the here's the thing. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk that uh, Luke, the main the, the is the main focus here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That that the storyline goes, and you know, that the the young the young generation, the new guys, are on a quest to find Luke. Yeah. But that Luke has kind of turned to the dark side a little, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now. We have issues about this, right? We, have we talked about this? A little bit. Like, I don't like this. He doesn't like it. At all. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no Luke surgery. Skywalker went through a lot to, like, save his father. Yes. To go through the training. Right. To With become, Yoda and stuff to, like to that, To yes. become the overall archetypal hero. Right. Right? And then to have him now go from being the ultimate hero to being, to being like, the bad guy now. The fall from grace, so to speak, mm-hmm. is interesting, but I, I don't think that's going to rub well with a lot of fans or people. You know what I mean? Like, if I, Luke's don't the bad guy, I don't like saying, it. If, yeah. I mean, right. He's saying I don't think Luke should be the bad guy. But you know what? It may be a way of showing how through the years, because just years have gone by. Yeah, thir- about 30 years. 30, 30 years. years have gone by. It's almost a generation, as a generation, that you're going to see where he gets because of some of the things that have happened. Yeah. As long right. as your backstory is good right. with it, yeah. and he's gotten pushed off to the side, I mean, you know, whatever. You know what? And then we don't know how they're going to build that up and write that in, how he got pushed off to where he got to the point where if, he but, went a little dark, because he was always teetering with darkness. And, and um, you remember yeah, at one time. Yeah, he, he never listened, right. No, he never you listened, but he, he always did always, his own thing. Well, right. you're in correct. a way, you're contradicting yourself, in a way, because if I go into that movie theater, Mm-hmm. Emotionally, I want Luke to end up happy, you know, with yes. the twins, whatever, the extended universe stuff. Yep. But if they give me a good story and they throw me a curveball and I walk out of there going, like, like, if I, I'm, like I'm like, 
Wow. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm a little biased because Luke was always like my favorite character. That's what it Being is. Being a kid, you know but what I mean? But if the story you know, works, and you have three movies, so who knows? Like, but you what they're saying, that. what they're saying is that uh, the latest, the latest rumor that I heard is that, like, you know, he's not yeah. necessarily going to be the bad guy. That he, that he, he becomes so powerful that he kind of shuts himself away from everybody. That that makes sense. And too. by isolating himself, kind of like how Yoda did, right? He kind of goes a little nutty. You know? That makes sense. So yeah. plus he, that I wouldn't mind. Plus he saw his he saw his father die. Right. The whole thing that happened. Right. He was. It's a lot going on there. There's we have a lot, lot of right. emotional lot of baggage. Emotional. Right. Kasdan won't ignore that. Kasdan is a smart writer. Kasdan's not going to pencil in CGI. No, no. He's going to. No. And I like, love the idea of going back to the old way. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Oh. I mean, everybody that's Kevin Smith and other filmmakers. They're supposed been, to have the trailer this weekend. Idiot. Yeah. Yes. Like at select, yes. select theaters. Like select the first theaters, teaser right. trailer, right? Yes. I mean, I, I'm trying to find it. I don't know. You know. <laughs> it's on there somewhere. So I'm it's sure it's going to be online. <laughs> people who have been on the set, they sign a, a confidential ad, a confidential ad oh, yes. agreement. But they they will say it's so old school. They say it's Which like looking at Star Wars. Circa 1977, mm -hmm. 1976. Yeah, didn't Kevin Smith go on stage? Yeah, go on set and he was it. like, you know, he had a phaser. He was crying or something, yeah. right? <laughs> he felt like a seven year old boy. <laughs> but, cool. hey, is that it for Star Wars? Uh, I guess. That's, yeah. Okay, Marvel Phase quickly. 3. That's Marco, that's that big one that you had up originally. That big With all the movies on it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Now Judy's gonna, now Judy can go first now because he wants to go over the movies. Okay, go. We'll talk all about right. it. So basically, we kick it off with. Um, uh, yeah, five uh, minutes. Uh, yeah, we kick it off with uh, that says Captain America Civil War. Right. And basically, it's Captain America 3. What they're doing is they're bringing in uh, Tony Stark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Iron Man's going to be in it. Good. And he is going, they're going to be in a, at odds. And there's a comic line. There's a comic line called Civil War mm -hmm. that they've already had. That was a great comic with that, that I've yeah, read. I've read it, yeah. And it's basically um, two different ideologies. Oh, okay. okay. The government gets involved. The government gets involved. Two okay. different ideologies, and I think that's where they're going with it. And then you throw in the Winter Soldier, which Captain is still looking for him, right? Yeah. And remember, Winter Soldier killed Tony's parents. That's right. Right. So there's that whole thing. Okay. So what happens when Tony finds that out? So there's the whole dynamic there that they can kind of play with. Okay. But so they're calling it civil war because they're both at odds, and they even had at the at the press conference they had them both. They had Chris Evans and uh, Robert Downey come together, and they were both kind of like doing the whole. You know how before a fight, yeah, know, they, 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 the they whole, did a whole thing. You know, they had a yeah, little yeah, press yeah. thing, so they did that. So good. That's that's and that's that. uh, what, when is that's coming up this year? I right know. Um, May May sixth on there. I, May sixth. Small there. May sixth. Great. Well, once again, Marvel smart okay. or Disney because they got a whole timeline there. See yeah, that? they're going into okay. their. Uh, they're going, <sighs> They're going into the comic book storylines. They're not making them up. And I like that. Right, right. And I do right like yeah. that I see a different one in there that I haven't seen yet. Ooh. That'd be the Black Panther. Yeah. Oh. That's yes. the guy. Because I know Guardians of the Galaxy 22. 2 is in the following year, but Black right. Panther's also. It's Jackie I, Robinson, right? 2017, yes. if it looks like. Let's see the yes. graphic again, please, Marco. Yeah, so Black, so, okay. Leave so, that up for a while. So when they had, when they, when they had uh, the Chris Evans thing, like when I was telling Chris Evans and Robert Downey were yep. on stage. Yeah. They were doing they were doing the whole fisticuffs, yep. right? And in between them, mm -hmm. you had the actor that's gonna play Black Panther, he got debuted. And and the kid that's doing that is uh what's his name? He played I, Jackie Robinson. In 42. Oh, in 42. he was great in that movie. He has an um, interesting he just name. Did, he just did James Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, yes. He's uh, a good he's a good actor. Is it really Chadwick is. Boseman? Yeah, Chadwick Boseman or Boseman yes. or yeah, like yeah, that. you got yes. it. Chadwick Boseman. We got about two minutes, guys. Just yeah. So. Well, he's he's gonna be Black Panther. Okay. You know, That's and what they're saying, he's gonna de he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna kind of debut a little bit in uh the other movie in Avengers. Yeah, mm -hmm. Age of Ultron that's coming out. Yeah, you might see a cameo of him just to introduce good. Him. Good, that's okay. I want to see James that. Spader is in that one too. And I know so, there's a lot of movies coming out. It looks like there's uh, ten see. movies coming out. But I, I have one quick question. I want to yeah, get into it. only really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman versus Superman. Yes. Oh, yes. we us go quick. We only got two minutes, so uh, I mean, go ahead, you go. Um, all I know is that I'm looking forward to it. You got the graphic for that. Yeah, a couple graphics. For it. And I will it, tell right. you, here's here's my thought. If they do it right, it can be I, it can be top notch, something. a number one. From what I hear, yeah. I hear it's really good. Yeah. I hear it's yeah. so good. They are not. And I want to see how around. dark. They they I want to see. They I want to see how Ben's going to be. Especially, I'm curious about Ben because uh, Christian was such a high bar. He said, "I agree. Yeah, well, you're right. I mean, I mean, didn't you tell me something about that? Christian Bale called him up or emailed him or something. Yeah, he said, he said, look, blah 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 blah. You know what? You you know you." I'm a little jealous, but at the same time, I gave it up. Good luck. Just keep yourself in shape. Ben, you're a great actor. Keep up, up, up. Keep up the Batman mantle. But I do believe, and I'm talking fast on purpose, but I do believe that I, everything I know about this movie, I've been trying to find spoilers and this and that. It looks, I saw a little teaser. Mm -hmm. 
And when I saw Henry Cavill up, like like levitating oh, above yeah. Batman, I oh, almost yeah. blanked my pants. Yep. I was oh like, my god! I'm, it was it was amazing. Yeah, it was all Dark Knight Returns stuff. Frank Miller. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. You, are you kidding me? They are are not you kidding me? Around. They yeah. have to. They, no. they have no choice. Well, they have to, look what, what they're competing with. I, know. I mean, they have to Marvel, bring a Ray game. Marvel's got otherwise the Marvel's game Marvel's right already now. doing the Ray game, so they got to bring they their Ray game. Awesome. They have to. But they have to. I mean, their shows are are better and better. Has it been an hour already? Jeez. Yeah. And Constantine was sorry you got canceled. Maybe it's got to be an hour and a half next. Constantine, I'm glad you got canceled. Thank God. Actually, you know what? You know who owns Constantine? Comcast, NBC, <laughs> right there, this studio. Oh, yeah. And all I have to say is this, Marvel, Marvel versus DC, right now Marvel's winning, but DC's winning on TV. Yeah, well, that's how it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, DC's got, a, DC's got TV and Marvel's and, got uh, the And I'll be back uh, the 5th of uh, January, uh, not January, December. I don't know who I'll have on. We'll wow. talk, we'll do Guys, something. Guys, this went by really Thank you. Yes. Elvis next month. Yes. Live Elvis in here. Elvis. Birdman, awesome. go check it out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. That was quick. I knew it would be. I knew it. <laughs> that was quick. Quickest hour ever.